Hey there guys, it's Nathanus1, and last video we reached the goal of 60 views, so I'm gonna set that goal again, and also uh, I'm gonna drop it to 11 likes, that's what I got on the last video, so let's do that. Alright, so, this is, um, another commentary like you can tell, I don't know what I'm gonna put it over, probably shoot many robots and I don't know I might put some sniping version 2 up in there if I uh, if I feel like it so uh, yeah so this is um, about subway and like those types of places and um, uh, paying people back alright so before I start I just like to say uh, give a little shout out to Unforgiven uh, I'll put a link to him in the description, and basically, that's what basically I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be uh, giving a shout out to someone every single video, and uh, it'll be someone who deserves it, someone who's uh, been working hard and doing uh, the right stuff, but just hasn't really been growing as, growing as much as they should, like me. And, um, yeah. Alright, so, Subway, they say eat fresh, but how fresh can their food really be? Like, their lettuce. I, I've seen times where, I don't know, they, they don't change their lettuce for like hours and you know, lettuce after a while isn't as fresh as, as, it, as it is, but that's not really the problem. The problem is the meat. I, I don't see them having a uh, sheep or whatever, cow or whatever they meat they use. I don't see it, uh, I don't see like a farm behind the place. There's no farm behind Subway that they uh, kill the animals and make the meat. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's not really as fresh as you'd think, but it is better than McDonald's and Burger King and Wendy's and Papa John's and KFC and whatever other place of food fast you uh, eat at. Um, it's probably better than all those places, and it's um, it's a relatively good tasting food. Um, I'd say it's uh, one of the better fast food places to go to, and uh, then Blimpies. But you know, those are the two best fast food places in my opinion. Um, I like the uh, foot longs and the six inches, whichever ones you guys prefer. I, I like foot longs because you know more food, uh, and, and it's not really that much more expensive. I think it's like maybe a dollar more or something like that. I don't really to compare the prices every single day. I'm just like, oh, give me a foot long, and yeah. All right, so paying people back annoyingly. Um, this is a pretty funny thing. Um, all right, so. My friend owes this kid seven dollars, and um, he knows that probably if he sees him on the bus, he's just gonna annoy him for like forty minutes straight. Where's my money, huh? Where's my money, huh? So my friend and I came up with this way to get him to get on on, all on his nerves, so he can uh, never ask someone or borrow them for money again. So basically, you go to the bank and you ask them. Hello, can I have 700 pennies? Because I owe someone seven dollars. Now, they'll probably look at you like you're crazy, and then they'll give you the money. And you put it in a jar, and you don't put it in the one that counts the money for you, because those are expensive, and you don't want to give those away. And you go and you give the kid his 700 pennies, and you tell him, go ahead, count it. I dare you. If you want to, go ahead. I'm not going to be counted for you, but there's 700 pennies in there. Now, what I told my friend to do was get 400 pennies and put two quarters in there to make it look like you gave him enough money. And he would probably not even count the money and cash it in like five months later and then realize it. And he'll be like, oh my gosh, I didn't get my other 250. And then he'll probably be mad, but by then you'll be out of school and it'll be like the next year and he'll forget who gave him the money. So, yeah, that's basically what to do if you owe someone, like, a small amount of money. Just go to the bank, get a bunch of pennies or nickels and dimes and uh, pay them that way if, if they are annoying you for the money, that is. Um, if they're not annoying you, then just pay them in bills because, you know, that's, what, that's the right thing to do. 
But you know, paying them in dimes and nickels and pennies is much more fun. And uh, it's much more annoying on their part. And you know, just be like, this is for asking me so many times. I will pay you in my change that I had laying around my room. <laughs> yeah, like I have 700 pennies in my room. That, that'd be pretty funny. Alright guys, that's the end of the commentary. Check out Unforgiven and uh, peace out. Bye.